everyone, it's Veronica and in this video I wanted to show you how I created the wipe off effect that you can see in my demo. If you haven't looked at the demo it might make sense to do that and you can find the link in the description below. So what I've got here on the slide is I've got my, my car and I've got my, my dirt on the window which is a, a different object, a different image and then I've got my rag that I'm going to use to clean that dirt off. So basically this dirt um, you can see I've got in the car I've got some zombies in there so what the user is going to do is wipe off the dirt to discover there's zombies and they might be in some trouble so um, this dirt image has a few different states so um, it's got it gets more transparent as you wipe right so you can see there that the zombies are appearing through the transparency so it's got a few states there so I'll show you how I built that. The first trigger has to do with the rag and all it is is a trigger that says adjust the variable wipe count one which is a variable that I created to keep track of how many times the user is going to wipe the rag. So adjust the vi variable wipe count one to add a value of one when the object rag is dragged over the car dirt. So every time that the learner drags the rag over the car dirt, it's going to add a value of 1 to that variable. And I'll just show you quickly in my variables panel. I've got a wipe count 1 variable there. It's a number variable and it starts at the default, default value of 0. The other variables here are for the other cars in the demo, but in this tutorial I'm only showing you with just the one car. So wipe count 1 applies to this car. So this trigger there is going to add to the wipe count variable and then the other triggers are going to change the state of the dirt. So basically every time the user wipes with the rag they'll be adding one to the variable and these triggers will change the state of the car dirt to dirt one which is the first level of transparency remember that I showed you before when the variable changes, when the variable wipe count 1 changes on the condition that it's equal to 3. So what this basically means is that when the user wipes 3 times it'll change to dirt 1. And then I've got another one there when the user wipes another 2 times so to equal 5 it'll change to state dirt 2. And all the way up until the final state which is dirt 6 and it'll change to that when it equals 10. The final two triggers are simply to show the correct feedback layer when the wipe count 1 is equal to 12 so I'm giving it another couple of wipes before I show the layer. One of them will be here's the zombies and uh, you didn't find any food and the other one might be if they've already had a couple of tries because the whole interaction gives the user three chances to find the food so if you've already exhausted your chances then you might get the your dead layer so let's just preview this and see how it works so here's my interaction so I'm gonna grab the rag and just wipe 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 but not much is happening so I let go of the rag and then it appears as though something's happening. Oh yeah, there come the zombies. So it's kind of really annoying to have to let go of the rag each time and of course what's happening is that it's only adding one each time that I drag the rag over it but I have to let go for it to count another time. So let's fix that because that's not really what I want to happen. I want it to be a little bit more realistic and when you wipe a window with a rag you wouldn't let go of the rag every time you would just keep wiping until it's clean so here's another version of this which is almost the same except instead of using the dirt for the the wiping surface I'm using two hotspots that I've placed on top of the dirt so they're called hotspot 1 car 1 and hotspot 2 car 1 and the changes in the um, triggers are as follows so this one is adjust the variable y, uh, wipe count 1 to add 1 when the rag is drop, dragged over hotspot 1 and hotspot 2. So generally the user is going to grab the rag and just wipe across like that and it'll be wiping across one and the other, one and the other and so forth. And then the other change needs to be in these ones 
Um, actually, there's no change in those ones. So that was the only trigger that I really had to change. So let's preview that one. Okay, so here's my preview. So I'm going to drag one, two, and you can see already that my zombies are appearing and I never have to let go of the rag. So that works a lot better and it's much more realistic. So I hope that helps you. See ya.